Hey, yo, Spliff. Yeah. What the f wrong with T.I. acting desperation hanging from a thin rope face looking at <laughs> Old school teacher face looking ass. <laughs> yo, yo, sometimes it's looking, when you look at T.I., it's like, I'll be confused if he got a five year old body or 85 year old body looking ass. Yeah, yo, real talk, T.I., it don't matter what wardrobe you put on, you look like you still going to court. <laughs> look at <laughs> you put on a you put on a church suit. You going you look like you going to court, nigga. You put on t-shirt, jeans, and Timberlands, nigga. You look like you going to court, nigga. Wow. Yo, let me explain something to you, Ti. Wow. Real quick. You ever heard of that term, timeless great? See, you don't know nothing about that. You call it dinosaur. Let me help you understand something. When you get twenty-year records, twenty-five-year-old classics. And them shits, you're still ripping shit down 20 to 25 years later in clubs, whether you in them shits or you not in them shits. And you got every age group bouncing off the wall. Then you could talk this shit that you talking to me, man. You got a whole lot of work left to put in that you ain't put in yet. Young old face looking ass nigga. <laughs> yo, T.I. Yo, you supposed to look. You supposed to look. Better as you get older. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I feel good. I'm looking good. Mm. See, you a king. I'm a god. You looking like a king of running your mouth more than looking like a king of the south. That's what you looking like, playboy. See, I never actually asked to do a versus with you, my brother. It was presented to me, you know, when I did the, the interview with my brother Fat Joe on the big, 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 big show. <laughs> And we had a Jopra moment when he asked me if I saw the way that you was carrying on and behaving when, you know, the whole thing went down with you and 50 and it ended up not happening. And you started talking all of this shit about how you feel about New York MCs and rappers. And see, I know you love me and I love you and you know I love you. You're my brother. The reason why we could joke and have fun like this is because we brothers. But all jokes aside, I'm not playing when it comes to respectfully competing. I will bust your ass for real, bro. And I'm going to bust your ass at any given point in time. You feel like you're ready to revisit this. If you just so happen to choose to revisit this. The world has seen you bow out gracefully from even entertaining this idea. So I'm not even going to continue to elaborate on that. But moving on, brother. I was asked if, as a New York MC... The opportunity presented itself for me to do a versus with you. Would I take on the opportunity to do that? Of course, I'm going to accept that shit with grace, open arms, and welcome it in the most warm fashion I'm supposed to. Now, just for the record, brother, I don't even got to do no competition with you with any record of mine prior to the day that you released your first single. I could just go to that one section of my catalog. And deal with you accordingly and bust your shit. That's it. That's it, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey man. That's how I can, folk. Come man. on now. Tip is how I can, folk, man. Come on, brother. You know I love you, brother. Tip is how I can, folk, but you don't want no smoke. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. Talk that shit, Split. Can't folk, but you don't want no smoke. Come on, again. Can't folk, but you don't want no smoke. Come again. Can't folk, but you don't want no smoke. Here you go now. Can't folk. Yo, listen, we could take it from the first day that you put out your first single to your current album. You just dropped Libra. By the way, everybody, please go out there and stream Libra. Libra, support T.I.'s new album. It's incredible. But... Extinction Level Event 2, The Wrath of God, is dropping October 30th, 2020. Halloween weekend, four days before the election. And we could do verses with just the albums, if you want. If you don't want to include nothing before that, even during your time frame of creating your catalog of history and music. I think I'm done talking. But, you know, if you want to keep talking... I was raised by the gods, so all we do is deal with building and showing proof. You gave me LL's number to go and holler at LL about a verse. <laughs> hey, yo, 
Take your leaning pizza walking ass up somewhere and go sit down, man. Fuck wrong with this. Hey, bro, go sit down, man. You focus on your Jeezy battle, bro, because I'm going to tell you something. If you take that L, you think we having fun now? I'm going to bust your I'm gonna bust your ass. If you take that L, playboy, you better get to work and stop running your trap with me. You got shit that you need to do to prepare for that. Holla back, homie. Fuck wrong with you. The album's done. <laughs> Extinction level event two, the wrath of God. The album is done. Release date announcement is coming soon. <laughs> but the album is done. I just wanted y'all to know. <laughs> I just want to thank the whole planet for all of the love, anticipation, excitement, enthusiasm, the patience, the support. Just the whole overwhelming love that came through once the unveiling of the album artwork, Extinction Level Event 2, The Wrath of God, was unveiled today. Thank you to the incredible artist that created the artwork. Her name is Chanel Rose. Thank you, Chanel Rose. I also want to thank everybody for the incredible, overwhelming, exciting, unbelievable feedback on the unveiling of the new trailer slash album commercial, which was created by my creative director, Sam Lecker, directed by the film director Sam Lecker. Just want to thank you very much, Sam Lecker. <laughs> yeah, so this is what we gonna do. I'm in such a good mood. I feel like sharing some shit with y'all. Fuck with me real quick. <laughs> <laughs>